the Lord is with us. Now the question is, when we pray, why there is silence? Do you feel silence when you pray? Sometimes. Sometimes. I feel silence. Yeah. And that really bothers me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wanted to have communion with my master. I wanted to know him. You see, but, but, uh, but what does it mean and what should we do? These are the valid questions, right? Mm. We should ask when we are, you know, the young people can go on their knees. It will hurt after a long time, but <laughs> as you become used to, it won't hurt. <laughs> Believe me, my, my mentor, Dr. Koshi, he, his knees were like camel knees. <laughs> Callous, right? Yeah, right here and on his knees. Callous. They were all black. Oh. And when I, when I was his intern, you know, and uh, he, he used to take me all around the world and he was teaching me by that time. And, you know, four o'clock, he's coming to my room and knocking the door. Believe me, I didn't like it, but I have to because <laughs> his spiritual authority was so great in my life. I cannot even refuse him. I was afraid of him. Yes, I was afraid of my, my mentor. You know, for 14 years, he did not allow me to read any book. He said, read the Bible. Hallelujah. Mm. Bible reading the word of God really saturates, it nourishes your heart. Mm. It really, you know, it, it uh, saturates your mind with God's thoughts. Only spending time. See, so what we should do, if we do not, since God speaking when you are praying and he is not responding, you know, uh, th th there are three reasons why God is not speaking to you. And we all experience that if God is, if God is speaking, but you fail to recognize his voice, many a time we do, right? We do that. I do that. Mm. You know, you don't have to be ashamed. Mm -hmm. One thing is that, you know, if you are a child of God, you should not be ashamed because he has taken away our shames. You know, the Lord has taken away the shame. So we should not be ashamed, you know. And, you know, the, the problem is, the problem is not silence, but the deafness. The deafness. God is speaking. God is speaking. You know, make sure that you know God well and recognize His voice when He speaks. Number two reason is to examine your heart. See, when we take part around the table and, uh, you know, He says, let a man examine himself and let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. He who does not eat and drink according to, uh, uh, according to examination, he, will, he is liable to judgment. Number two is examine. You, you, psalmist in Psalm 66, verse, 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 verse 18, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. We cannot harbor sin and walk with God. Therefore, the Lord said in Matthew 6, 24, A man cannot serve two masters. We cannot serve. We cannot serve God in this world. You know, it is it is a high price you will pay if you do that. If you do that, uh, you know, you will pay. The silence is powerful method of God because He wants your attention. He wants the attention. When you experience silence from God, we must take the spiritual inventory. You see, Psalm 139.